land of the Bible, the Shefelar or foothills territory, and focusing particularly on Tel Azekar. The Shefelar being the borderlands, the foothills between the Judean hills and the plain, were a highly significant area, because they provided a border, and across borders armies and knowledge and power are transmitted. As we can see from this uh, Google Earth shot, Telezeka is towards the edge of the Shefela, the foothills, and it dominates this broad valley that leads up into the hills to your right. Azeka itself is a significant promontory, sticking into the valley. And the valley bends around it, making it an ideal position to defend. The hills of the Shefela are more rounded and softer than those of the Judean hills, but they provide still a significant barrier to those wanting to move, trade or armies, into the interior. As this map shot shows, it is the Elar Valley which provides the natural route up into the Judean hills, and as it also shows, Azekar and Gath are a mere ten kilometers apart, and Gath was one of the most significant Philistine cities. It's no wonder then that the battle of David and Goliath took place here. Let's look at that battle, first from the Philistine perspective. This is where they were camped and looking across to the Tell. The Israelites were at Azekar and the Philistines were here. Now let's look at it from the Israelite perspective. The Philistine position was less strong, but then the Philistines had both a more powerful army and iron technology, and iron was the super weapon of the age. David was equipped with a slingshot. Slingshots were more dangerous than they sound. These cricket ball sized stones were thrown by an Assyrian slingshot some centuries later. Now we're in the helicopter, looking up the valley as we head down the ridge towards the coastal plain. In the distance you can see the Judean hills. In the foreground you can see the broad valley providing the route. And now in the foreground, Tel Azekar, the Israelite defensive city. And you can see how it dominates the valley. These valleys were vitally important because they enabled control of the movement of both armies and ideas. Saul's kingdom was founded further north. And yet, the end of Saul's story and the end of the hopes of an Israelite kingdom, it seemed, took place in another border hill. This time, Mount Gilboa, the most significant in a range of hills that lead out into the Jezreel Valley. Here, on this mount, Saul and Jonathan made their last stand and were defeated and killed, and the hopes of Israelite kingdom seemed dashed. And yet, only a few years later, David rose to power not merely in Hebron, but eventually over the whole of Israel, and defeated the Philistines. Did David obtain iron technology from the Philistines while he was working for Achish, king of Gath? We don't know. But the whole story does illustrate the importance of these border territories, both to geopolitics and to the Bible story.